Hello and welcome to today's Fire Science Hotspot, sponsored by Southern Rockies Fire Science Network. Fire Science Hotspots are a series of narrated summaries sharing wildfire research and events in the Southern Rockies region to support your management and research needs. Today, the West Fire Center will be talking to us about Starfire. Hi, I'm Doug Rideout, Professor of Forest and Fire Economics at Colorado State University. And I'm Nikki Kernahan, a spatial software developer for the Starfire system. Thank you for joining us today to discuss Starfire. Starfire is a scalable, spatial fire planning and budgeting system. The analysis is conducted at the West Fire Research Center at Colorado State University in collaboration with our federal partners. The Starfire analysis can be applied to individual planning units, or across a national program and used to inform budgets and the management of programs at either scale. Starfire requires three main inputs. The first considers resources that are affected by fire. This includes resources that are negatively affected, such as life, property, and resources needing protection, like watersheds. Starfire also considers resources that benefit from fire, such as improvement to wildlife habitat, and reduction of hazardous fuels. The second input, burn potential, is generated from fire behavior information. The final input, management cost, considers the cost associated with treating different vegetation types. Starfire combines this information to generate four outputs, a risk assessment that identifies where fire can provide benefit and where it imposes risk, a fuel treatment assessment that identifies the optimal places for fuel treatments, a smoke assessment that considers the impacts of smoke, and a preparedness analysis that assesses the return on investment for alternative preparedness strategies and budgets. The return on investment for each of these four programs is generated to support and evaluate their viability. Starfire provides managers and planners with essential outputs for comparing, evaluating, and justifying their management decisions. These include a map book that contains the spatial outputs associated with each of Starfire's four assessments, a return on investment for fuel, smoke, and the preparedness programs. Starfire provides the ability to analyze a range of budget levels. The manager can demonstrate how different funding levels impact the programs and the return on investment. Optimal budget allocations in Starfire are unique in their ability to show how the funding of programs interact. In this example, we look at how the fuels program interacts with the preparedness program. In this colorful graph, the black arrow indicates the funding allocation of a unit's preparedness budget on the x-axis and the fuels budget on the y-axis. The color contour lines show increasing return on investment moving up to the right. The black line represents a fixed or constant budget. You travel up or down this line for different mixes of fuels or preparedness budgets while maintaining the same overall budget. This demonstrates how reallocating the funding between the programs can improve the return on investment. At first, there's a heavy emphasis on preparedness and a low return on investment. By reallocating to emphasize the fuels program, a higher return on investment can be achieved with the same budget. In summary, Starfire Scalable Spatial Fire Planning and Budgeting System supports planners and managers both at the planning unit and at the national program level. At the unit level, Starfire's four assessments help inform wildfire decisions, identify optimal fuel treatment locations, provide the ability to demonstrate how budget increases or decreases affect programs, and provides the ability to measure return on investment. At the national level, Starfire helps program managers justify their programs to Congress and to appropriations. It helps them communicate how the units fit into the big picture. Lastly, the unit results can be applied to a national program assessment to demonstrate how the national budget can be optimized to meet the needs of the unit. 
More information regarding Starfire can be found on our website. Links to peer-reviewed literature for each of Starfire's outputs can be found at ResearchGate. We'd also like to acknowledge the contribution of the Starfire development team. Thank you for joining us today, and if you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us. To share your research or project through Southern Rockies Fire Science Network, please contact the email or website on the screen. And thanks for viewing today's Fire Science Hotspot.